Sure, most would say World War I started with a gunshot. But there's a lot more to the story. This is Leopold Loika. He was born on September 17, 1886 in the old Bohemian village of Telsch. Originally a horse wrangler, Leopold moved on to real horsepower when he became Archduke Franz Ferdinand's chauffeur in 1909. Archduke Ferdinand was first in line to the Austro-Hungarian throne, then occupied by Emperor Franz Joseph I. But serving as emperor wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Austria-Hungary wasn't exactly the most popular European country at the time. 1908, the Austro-Hungarian Empire annexes Bosnia. This ticks off Bosnian nationalists, who wanted to unify all southern Slavic countries under one government. Tensions are still high in 1914 when Archduke Ferdinand decides to visit Bosnia. If there were any place where Ferdinand were to get got, Sarajevo, Bosnia's capital, would be it. Despite this, Ferdinand decides to drive around Sarajevo with the top down in his limousine. Leopold Loika is driving, when out of the corner of his eye, he spots a small bomb hurtling towards the Archduke and his wife. He slams on the gas and the bomb misses its target. The bomb was thrown by Nedelko Chabrinovic, a member of the Young Serbian Nationalist Movement. There are a few injuries, but Ferdinand and his wife are unharmed. After gathering their bearings, Leopold drives on to a scheduled meet and greet between the Archduke and local officials. The officials want to take the Archduke on a tour of the city, but Ferdinand instead decides he wants to visit the wounded victims from the bomb attack. He gets back into the car with his wife and has Leopold drive off to the hospital. In all fairness to Leopold, he didn't know the exact route. No map, no GPS. He made a mistake and turned on to the wrong street. Unfortunately for Leopold and the rest of Europe, this was the street where Gavrilo Princip, one of the co-conspirators of the earlier assassination attempt, happened to be having a drink. Princip can't believe his luck. He has an opportunity to finish out what he started earlier that day. As the crowd tries to subdue Princip, the Archduke and his wife are left bleeding in the car. One bullet struck the Archduke in the neck, the other his wife in the stomach. Both die within the hour. In response to the assassination of the heir to its crown, Austria-Hungary seeks support from Germany. Germany agrees and Austria-Hungary declares war on Serbia. Russia, Serbia's ally, mobilizes its forces and as a result, Germany declares war on Russia. Russia's ally, France, then mobilizes its forces, which causes Germany to declare war on France. In turn, Great Britain declares war on Germany. Austria-Hungary then declares war on Russia, Serbia declares war on Germany, and France and Great Britain declare war on Austria-Hungary. The First World War has begun. And all because of a wrong turn.